What is up, everybody? It is Randomatic, and I am super, super happy today because I finally, for my first time ever in Modern Warfare 3, got a Moab or a Mob or an M O A B, whatever you want to call it. I got it, and uh, I just got this thing today, and I'm just super, super excited. Um, it's my first Moab ever in Modern Warfare 3. I had gotten nukes in Modern Warfare 2, but uh, I wouldn't really even call that an accomplishment anymore. I'm pretty sure that everyone has gotten a nuke in Modern Warfare 2, just because these things were so easy to get. But uh, in Modern Warfare 3, I was pretty proud of finally getting my Moab, and um, I don't know, I was just super excited. Everything was going right this game, but uh, it was kind of slow, so I sped up a lot of the parts of this game. Um, I was kind of camping a little bit, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. Especially when you don't have a team. If I had a full team on my side, I probably could have rushed ahead a little more because uh, they would have been helping me out getting some UAVs and everything like that up. But uh, I just didn't have a team, so uh, I wanted to get a Moab, and uh, I just decided to kind of camp in the back a little bit. So uh, this is it. I finally got a Moab, and uh, I'm just really, really excited. Um, it's my first one, like I said. And uh, since this is a Moab gameplay... I decided I would give you guys a few tips on uh, how to get one from my experience. Normally, I don't go for these things. I'm normally just ranking up guns, uh, and I like to have my attack helicopters and things like that. But uh, when you're going for a MOB, you're always going to want to use Specialist, because uh, that will just help you out so much. As you can see there, I just got my uh, All Perks bonus, and uh, that just helps me out so much. It actually saved me from dying a few times through this gameplay. So, um... You're definitely going to want specialists, and that's one of the reasons why I normally don't go for mobs, because uh, I'm normally either ranking up my gun, or I'm, uh, I am I just want to really like crap on the people and uh, start calling in those attack helicopters, pave lows, and just run up my score. But uh, in this game, or actually a few days ago, I decided that uh, I got a YouTube channel now, and uh, I need a mob gameplay on there. Um, I just really wanted one. And so I decided to start going for one, and uh, this is what you get. Um, I finally got one, and uh, just today, after I got this one, I started going for another one with my uh, L86. Um, it's an LMG, and uh, I got that thing gold, and then I was going for a MOB, and I actually had one that was really, really promising. Um, I got about 16 kills in like 30 seconds, and I was really excited. I was like, man, this thing is going to be awesome. And then uh, somebody in Final Stand killed me, and uh, that really pissed me off. Um, that's why Final Stand should never be in any other Call of Duty again. <clears throat> um, nobody really wanted it in Black Ops, and they still showed it up. And uh, nobody wanted it in this game, it's still in here. So uh, I really hope Final Stand doesn't make a comeback into the game. Into Black Ops 2, or whatever the next Call of Duty game will be. I really hope that they don't have a... Final Stand, Last Stand, whatever it is, I just hope they don't have it, or Dead, Man, Dead Man's Hand is bad too. But uh, going through this how to get a Moab, the one thing that you're going to want to do is play with friends. And uh, I know I'm not playing with friends in here, but like I said, if I was, I probably could have brought you guys a little more exciting Moab. And uh, it wouldn't have been so boring and kind of campy, because uh, with your teammates, what you guys can do is you can just set it up and... Uh, Whoever starts getting on the high kill streak, then all the rest of your teammates can switch to their, um, what's it called, support kill streaks and start calling in UAVs, counter UAVs, advanced UAVs, and uh, you're going to you're gonna know where the enemy team is 100% of the time, and it'll just help you out so much. You could probably get, like, a few mobs in a day uh, doing that. But, uh, like I said, in this game, I didn't really have teammates, and um, really the main reason why I wanted to drop a mob on these guys was because the other team was absolute douches. They were there were two guys from a clan, and um, they kept telling me that I sucked and I was cheating. They actually thought I was cheating. They thought I had like a modded ACR or something. I don't know. They're just uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. But uh, I really wish I could have got them on video because there's nothing better than humiliating uh, douchebags on the internet. Um, it's pretty funny to do. But uh, fortunately, I wasn't live recording this. I just got this out of theater mode, and that's why you'll also see some lag in it. It's just that theater mode lag. But uh, yeah, this team was absolute douches, and they at the end of the game, they were just hating on me. They were like, oh, I reported you. And uh, it was pretty bad, but uh, that just makes it all the more better. And um, <coughs> going on in the how to get a Moab, 
uh, you're going to want to play a long game mode. So uh, this guy almost killed me. I was so scared. But uh, as you can see in this gameplay, I'm playing Domination, which is a really long game mode, which helped me out a lot in this. Um, if I wasn't playing Domination, the time would have ran out because uh, this mode was pretty slow. So uh, that's why I play long ones. You can uh, have more time to build up your kill streak. So I suggest playing something long, long game mode like Domination or any other game mode of your choice that uh, has some length to it. Um, and the other thing is to stay on the edges of the map. You're, ne you're not going to ever want to go running through the center of the map. Pretty much you're always going to die if you do that. Um, you might get some big kill streaks doing that, um, but you're never going to get a mob. And as you can see right there, I got it, and that was only 23 kills which uh, is really interesting to me because I'm running Hardline Pro, so every two assists counts as a kill. But uh, I didn't think that that went towards your MOAB, but uh, I guess it does. So uh, that's it. I got a 23 kill mode, but uh, I end up getting my 24th kill right here soon, and then I die shortly after. And um, unfortunately... Yeah, see, that was my 24th kill. But uh, unfortunately, I couldn't... Um, I couldn't call it in right away because they had an EMP up, so I kind of had to wait a little bit, but right here I'm just so excited. And um, <clears throat> anyways, now that I've already gotten it, I'm going to keep telling you how you can get your own self one. And uh, the next point is you're going to always want to judge the spawns. As you can see in this game, we pretty much rushed C, and uh, we just took C the whole entire game, and uh, I just kind of stayed back where the C Dom was, and I defended it a few times. And then I just killed people that kept trying to take B, and uh, that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. If they had A, I would not be camping at the C spawn. Um, and here goes my Moab going off, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. i uh, never experienced that before. I'd never even been in a lobby where someone got a Moab that was actually legit. I've been in one where people were boosting, but... Uh, Never a legit one, and uh, that was the first one, so I was kind of excited. But uh, yeah, judge the spawns for sure. Um, like I said, I wouldn't be uh, camping in the C spawn if they had A. Um, I just wouldn't do it. Or I mean, if we had A and they had C, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't camp in the C spawn. But uh, so judge those spawns, and also use the specialists. I talked about this earlier in the video, but uh, that's really important. You're always going to want to run specialists, and uh, use a good gun that you're good with and uh, also I suggest it to be silence um, that's not really a necessity but uh, I, I would definitely suggest a silenced gun and uh, also you're gonna want to wear a headset and um, wearing a headset does two things of course you can hear where the enemies are I mean I was wearing a headset during this game and uh, I always know where they're coming from I can hear their footsteps coming and I actually did that to get a couple kills in this game. But the other thing a headset does is it really keeps you in the game. I notice that uh, when I'm not using a headset, normally I'll start to kind of zone out and go into kind of an autopilot mode. And uh, you never really want that. Then you're just kind of running around corners blindly and uh, you're not playing as good as you normally would. So always wear a headset and be alert. And that kind of ties into the headset thing. The headset helps you be alert. Because, uh, like I said, when I'm not using a headset, I'm just kind of, um, kind of just autopilot, and I'm not alert at all. I'm thinking about other things, thinking about the next game, thinking about just other things on my mind. So, uh, the headset helps with that. But, uh, as this game is coming to a close, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Uh, what do you call the MOAB, or the, do you call it a MOAB or a MOAB? Uh, I used to always call it a MOAB, but now I'm kind of mixed on it, because I heard some people say... You wouldn't say boat, you would say boat, and uh, that kind of raised my attention to it, that uh, maybe it actually should be called just a mob and not a moab. I used to always be the guy that was like, no, it's a moab, but uh, I don't know. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you call it a mob or a moab? Uh, I, I kind of called it both things in this video just because I wasn't really sure. But uh, there it is. I got a nice score at the end, 43 and 2, I think it was. I don't know. I'm not looking. Yep, four, 43 and 2, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this MOBE gameplay, and uh, I'll see you later.